Now it's third place, Loretta. I've got to get third place or I'm going to lose my sponsorship. So I need you to stay quiet as a mouse. Oh my God! Did you fart? Did that come out of you? No, oh, it's awful! Oh, get the hell out of my car! No, tuck and roll! Get the hell out right now! What in the living hell is a Mac and Pucky? As Lord is my witness, that woman will never ride in one of my race cars again. I've got to finish this race in third place or better. Now what the hell am I going to do? I'm supposed to be racing for a podium, and instead the whole field is disappearing over the hilltop. No doubt about it, it's going to take a while just to catch up. Now I did manage to miss old the hoser right here while he swapped in, but I wasn't really able to maintain my speed and get around Gunny Bear in either one of them corners. As a matter of fact, it took quite a few corners to get around him as he was really aggressive with his defensive maneuvers. Now me and this feller have had problems before. So I do believe when he brake checked me right here, it was intentional. But karma bit him in the ass as he was the one that caught the penalty and I was eventually able to get by him after all. I still had a lot of ground to cover if I ever wanted to get back to third place. My car still smelled like foot mass and I only had three laps to go. While I'm chasing these fellas down and trying to save my job, I want to take a quick minute to thank everybody who's been watching and liking my videos. The support I've received has been really unexpected, but very much appreciated just the same. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do it now. That way you don't miss any more videos as they come out. Now with all that out of the way, let's get back to the action and see what we can salvage out of this stinker of a day. <laughs> get it? Stinker of a day? Old Alejandro takes a dirt nap here, and I had to follow lifestyle for at least a half a lap before anything else of consequence happened. But when Elliot Chase had come back on the circuit slow, I grabbed seventh place and fell into line. And it wasn't but maybe a couple corners later when old Splice did the same damn thing. Now I had sixth place. I only needed to make three positions up and there was two laps to go. But it wasn't until after the race when I was informed of Loretta's master plan. She'd spent the entire race positioning herself in various flag stands. As the drivers would go by, she'd flash her boobies. And that's when I knew for certain that Loretta, my wife, was a certified genius. Keep shaking them money melons, baby. I only need two more spots. Get out of my damn way, Lifestyles. It's time for daddy to pay some bills. That's right, baby. One more spot and we'll finally have enough money to move into that fancy trailer park across town. And I guess seeing old Loretta's sweater puppets must have really shook lifestyles up. Because he ran me in the ass, but I was able to maintain. When I came around the corner, I saw it. A ghosted car on my right. I was back in third and it was safe to say I had a good chance of keeping my job. I was pulling away with only a half a lap left to go, and I have to admit I owed it all to my wife. And there you have it, folks. That's the story of how my wife ruined my race with a fart, but saved my job with her boobies. I do hope you liked my video. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Y'all come back now, you hear?